Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com, where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon. Today what I would like to show you how to do is to use multiple forms in Microsoft Word to input data into a bookmark. And what I've done here is I have my two bookmarks here already. The first thing I want to do, though, is to show you how to get your Developer tab and to see your bookmarks. So the first thing we're going to do is go to File and go to Options. And I believe it's under Advanced. And if we go to Advanced and we scroll down, you can see that it says right here, Show Bookmarks. And so I have that checked, so you can actually see where the bookmark is. In the future, you may want to uncheck that after you've made it into a template so that you can't actually see the bookmark. Then the other thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to customize our ribbon. And what we need to do there is just to make sure that we have the developer checked. So if you don't see the developer tab, you're going to need to make sure that this is checked. And again, it's under Customize Ribbon. Now if I click OK, we're back and we, you can see we do have the developer tab. And we can see our bookmarks. To insert a bookmark, you click Insert, and you simply come over here and you click bookmark, you probably want to make sure that you have your cursor blinking where you want your bookmark to be. So now if I click bookmark, you can see that I already have two bookmarks created. So what I'm going to do is just type in a third bookmark. So I'm just going to type in bookmark and then we'll click add. And you can see now we have a bookmark here, and our bookmark is named Bookmark. So now that we've added a bookmark, I'm going to go into Developer tab, and I'm going to click Visual Basic. So I've already created two, two forms here. Okay, I have a first name form, a last name form. And what I did is I just came over here, and I just you know, added a form. Very simple. As you can see, I now have user form one. So I've created this form and then I just added some controls to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of my user form to book mark form. And I'll hit enter. And then of course I'm going to change my caption to uh, we'll change it to middle name, let's say. And then I want to add some items. So I need to add a label. Just click and drag it over. And then I need to change the caption of that label. So middle name, we'll call it. And then I'm going to change the font quickly here. to something that's a little larger, like a 14 point font. So there we have our middle name, and then I'm just going to grab a text box here. And I'm going to do something similar, drag it out. I'm going to name my text box. Middle name. I suppose it would help if I spelt middle correctly. Middle name box. And again, I'm going to change the font here to a bold 14 point. And click OK. And then I'm going to add a button, which will be like this. And we're just going to name this OK button. But comp, and then we're going to name this caption this OK. Change the font. And click OK. Okay. 
So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how these other, they're all going to work together. Okay, so I have a middle name. Uh, I call it bookmark form. Okay, and I have the first name. And I have last name. So as you can see, I have a next on the first name. So what I should really do is I should have a, whoops, I'm sorry. is I should have a next on here. Oh, there it is. Oops. And then what I want to do is I want to go into this one to show you. So the first name comes up first. And so this is what we have. We have dim first name text as range. So we're setting a variable there. And if you're taking a variable for a bookmark, it needs to be a range. Then we set the first name text variable to equal the active document, the bookmarks, and the first name bookmark dot range. So that's setting that. And then first name text equals me first name bookmark first name box dot value. So the text of our variable needs to equal the first name text box. Then what we want to do is we want to show the form. And then we want to hide our previous form. But here we do want to change this because we want to change it to our our middle name form. So we have bookmark form for our middle name. So we go here and we want to have bookmark form show first name hide. Okay. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to close it because now I'm going to go to my middle name one. And oh, that's last name. There's our middle name. And I need to put this in here. So, and I just need to quick check some of my stuff here. So I need to know what this is named. Oh, that's the last name. I'm sorry. Here we are, middle name and middle name box. All right, so so we'll first we'll first change the name of our variable to middle name text, and of course, then I have to change this first name to middle name, this first name to middle name. And I need to change this to bookmark because that's the name of that last bookmark. I should have probably named it like middle name bookmark, but that's what we're going to do for now. So, so now what we need to do is we need to change this to hide because that's the one we're going to hide. And then we need to put in last name. and show. And that should do it for our middle name bookmark. And then it should go to our last name bookmark and show that. And so we have three forms here that we're using and they're all located underneath here under forms. And I'll show you how this is going to work. So I'm going to quick save these forms. I'm going to close this. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to say file and I'm going to say save. And then I'm going to say file and I'm going to click save as. Because what you need to do is remember is that you need to save these as word enabled. 
macro enabled word macro enabled documents and if you're going to save it as a template then you want to save it as a word macro enabled template so I'm going to actually do that I'm going to save it as a template it's going to be under Documents, Custom Office Templates, and you can see I already have one here, so I'm going to save it over that. And I'm going to replace it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close this and come back into it so you can see how it would look as a template. So I click on that. And what you want to do is come to Personal, and you can see we have Multiforms, and you can see that it's actually here as well. So it's under Featured as well as Personal. So I click on it, and it's going to ask me to enable the content, and of course I'm going to do that. I'm going to type in my first name, click Next, type in my middle name, click Next, type in my last name, click OK, and it's done. So now what I could do is I could go back in to File and turn off the Show Bookmarks, and close the developer tab if I wanted to do that. That's entirely up to you. So again, this is how to use multi-forms in Word to insert data with bookmarks. My name is Michael Langdon, and this is LearningEngineer.com, where we engineer learning for efficiency.